How else are you going to start your day? As a receptacle for shit? Or as a creator? As a victim? Or as a creator? So, this is where, and, and from this is where the fire zone came for me was I realized if I can start my day powerfully, and I had a lot of mentors and a lot of influences that helped me do this, where you have um, uh, guys like Robin Sharma that created what he calls the 5 a.m. club. And he's like, what you do in the morning, get you started. And then I had the idea of create, starting morning with daily declarations and stuff like that. And it just kind of all un, um, evolved for me, where it started out as every morning I do daily declarations. And then I added to my daily declarations that I would journal five things I was grateful for every day. And then I added to that, I was going to also journal at the end of the day, five wins that I had had for the day. So it just kind of evolved over time. And so what I want to share with you over the next few minutes before we go to lunch is, <coughs> excuse me, is I want to share with you the components of my fire zone. Okay. Now, some of you have been through this before. I know, I know my long-term members have been through this. But in my, my, my fire zone morning ritual, I call it my daily eights. So this is, I just made this up. I did this in 2011. Before I even started this coaching company, I created my morning ritual, and I called it my daily, my daily eights. Why? Because I made it where all of them ended with A-T-E. So here was my very, here's basically my, the components of my morning ritual. Now this is evolving, it has continued to evolve, it adapts, it adjusts, and I've also discovered that when I'm moving and changing everything in my life, it fucks with your morning ritual, it fucks with your fire zone. So this, I've had to re-adapt and readjust, recalibrate, and this is part of it. But these are the things that pretty much do not change. So number one is hydrate, Hydrate my cells. All that means is first thing when I wake up in the morning, I drink 24 ounces of water. First thing I do in the morning, I get up, I pee first. <laughs> but the first thing I do is I'm going to drink water. And what I discovered, and I think it was from the guy, who is the guy that wrote the book Perfect Health. Does anybody know? He's an Eastern guy. Like Eastern. I don't remember his name. It'll come to me. Anyway. <coughs> but he talked about if you will drink um, 20, 24 ounces of water first thing in the morning, room temperature, it gets all the systems in your body working right. Your blood flow, your your digestive system, it will el eliminate constipation, it will eliminate a lot of the blockages that happen in your body, your lymph system and all that, is with good hydration. So start every morning with hydrating your cells. That's the first thing that I do um, every morning. Number two is I state my truth. And this is my daily declarations, okay? So I have on my pocket plan, which is this, what I, so my pocket plan, this is the printed out version, my daily declarations, okay? So I'm going to state my truth every day. And declaration means I speak it as a declaration with power and emotion and feeling of this is who I am. And it counteracts the self-loathing and the self-doubt and all the other bullshit that will fuck us up. So I'm going to take ownership of it. Okay, this did not work very well for me on Monday because I had a hangover. Right, I mean, it's like I didn't, I didn't do any of this because I just like, didn't feel it. But what could I have done? So as the day went on and I had like coaching calls coming up, I'm like, I got to do something. I got to shake, I got to shake this. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to shake it. Okay. <coughs> Number three is appreciate 
my blessings. Now, I want everybody just to look in your, you, if you guys have the master's journal here, grab them, your master's journal. If you guys that are not here, you may or may not have one. If you have one and you got it close by, you can pull it out if you don't know about it. So, open up your master's journal just to a blank, just to a page in your master's journal to, to the blank pages where you guys are taking notes. If you notice, it is broken down into pieces. And what is the first piece of it? The very top, uh, top left. Grats. Grats. What is it? Grats. It's your grats. So what are my grats? Right. This is my appreciation. This is, this, is my, this is my third thing. Appreciate your blessings. It's five things I'm grateful for. So I, this in the, in the master's journal became my grats. Okay. Appreciate, um, appreciate your blessings. Okay. Next is create my future. Create my future. Now I do that in two things. There are two pieces to this. One is I visualize Is that right? S-E or Z-E? Z-E. 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 Yep. Z-E. Visualize my goals. And um, which is, is in the master journal, it's your goals, right? Right? It's the next yes, piece, yes. is your goals. goals yes. And then the next piece of that is your gets. Yes. And my gets is what am I going to get done today? <clears throat> so this would be, a lot of people call this your to-do list. Okay? So I'm going to create my future by saying, okay, here's what I want. I'm going to visualize my goals. And then out of that, I am going to write down what am I going to get done today. So I'm creating my day and I'm creating my future long term. I'm creating my next 24 hours, but I'm also creating <coughs> my future by visualizing it. And so this is why the pocket plan is critical for me because with the pocket plan, I have the pictures of the, and this, what are the pictures here? These are the dreams I'm most excited about. Okay, is this all my dreams? Of course not. Okay, is this necessarily my biggest dreams? Nope. Is it necessarily my most immediate dream? Nope. It's the ones that get me hard, just, they get me just fired up. I look at them and go, shit, yeah, that gets me fired up. So right now, and this has been for a while, um, my mountain ranch has been what fires me up the most. I get super stoked about that. So I've got like pictures of my mountain ranch. I got a picture of a, 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 four, a UTV, four-wheeler, that I want to have on the ranch. And then this is a picture of the house that I want to build on the ranch. Okay? So, the, and it changes. Like, I'll put, um, and there's another little picture um, on here. <laughs> and I'll change it all the time. Okay? Like, I had a, I had a, a, a Rolls-Royce um, SUV on here for a long time. And I'm like, I just doesn't, I'm not excited about it. It's a cool car, but I'm not excited about it, so I'm just going to take it off. Because the Rolls Royce Culligan, which is their SUV, it's super nice. But it's, I wasn't excited about it, so I took it off. Um, everything's got to be here exciting me. If it's not exciting me, I need to change mm -hmm. it. So I'm, vis I'm not only having it here and reviewing it, I'm visualizing myself actually having it. Same thing with my, for me, this is, this is my, then, my impossible goals for the year. Okay, so this is, I started, I created this in November. So these are my impossible goals for 2023. Like what's impossible for me to accomplish that I want to accomplish this year? What's crazy is how many of these things I've already done. It's not even the end of the first quarter. But because I was willing to make some massive changes in my life, all of a sudden things are unfolding and happening at a pace that was impossible six months ago. When I wrote this down four months ago, that was absolutely impossible. But it happens here.